Right, next we'll go to Castellari at the Anadolu News Agency. Governor, about this, these armored uh, vehicles, could you, to what extent you are confident that none of those vehicles have passed to the YPG element of this SDF? They were divested to the Syrian Arab Coalition. Uh, Syrian Arab Coalition fighters fight in concert with the SDF. So they're there together. Uh, that's, that's where, the, where those uh, vehicles are. So, so, so our YPG forces who are moving toward Raqqa also using these vehicles? Uh, I don't have first-hand knowledge of whether they are or whether they are not. Those forces are fighting together and they're working to isolate Raqqa. So um, that's the latest information that I have. From, from the very beginning, the U.S. officials have been saying that the, there is, the U.S. policy does not include training or equipping YPG elements. And now you are saying that you are not really sure whether YPG elements also benefit from these vehicles or not. Well, what I would tell you is we gave them to the Syrian Arab Coalition. The Syrian Arab Coalition has taken charge of them. These are groups that are fighting together to isolate Raqqa. Now, when a partner force has a capability, uh, that provides incidental benefit to the other partner. So, for example, our partner force in Iraq is the, the uh, Iraqi security forces. They benefit pretty greatly by our use of air power, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and some of the other capabilities that the coalition has. So, this is probably the same concept uh, that we're talking about in Syria. We report you that YPG elements also might use or benefit those armored vehicles that provided to the Syrian Arab coalition. Uh, we divested them to the Syrian Arab coalition. Um, that's really about all the information that I have for you at this point. And, and the other thing, it was uh, report, told us that we, we were told that, oh, he's saying something? Yeah, I, I said we expect the Syrian Arab coalition to use them, control them, and be responsible for them. And, and we, we were told that these vehicles were authorized by uh, Obama administration, the, the, the former administration. Is there, is there a reason for the timing of delivery of these vehicles now? And did you get reaffirmation from the new administration uh, before delivering them? Yeah, the, these vehicles, the, the uh, transport and the divestiture of these vehicles have been in the works for months. It's just a matter of the logistics tail that takes time to go ahead and, and get those uh, uh, bought and delivered. Uh, so this is something that's been in the works for months. It's been authorized using existing authorities from the previous administration. And the timing is that, uh, you know, the... Uh, uh, Syrian Arab Coalition is getting ready uh, to continue their operations to isolate Raqqa. And as they approach the city and, and get into tough fighting, this capability is going to increase their survivability, their ability to uh, withstand small arms fire as well. Okay, I'm sorry, your name is Blake Gummy. 